On LR26, we're going to learn the triangle inequality conjecture, and we'll solve for missing sides, and we'll also describe the relationship between sides of a triangle and the opposite angles. So first I'm going to um, encourage you to pause this video, find some paper, and draw out any triangle. And then measure your sides x, y, and z. And if you've done that, once you have those measurements, you should find that x plus y is always bigger than z, and likewise y plus z is always bigger than x, and z plus x is always bigger than y. So any two are greater than the third side. That's the triangle inequality conjecture. It says that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. We're going to skip this for now. Um, and notice it says greater, not greater than or equal to. So if I have sides 10 and 11 and 21, 21 doesn't work. It'll collapse in on itself and kind of form a line. So it has to be something like 10, 11, and 21, 0.01. It needs to be just a hair bigger. Or a hair smaller, rather. It would be 10, 11, and 20.9. There we go. Go ahead and on this slide, pause it. And if you click on these scissors, you can move these around, sort yours out, and then come back to this video and check that yours matches what mine are. So hopefully you've had some time there to work. If not, pause this. Um, confirm that your answers match mine. And we're going to practice this as well. So I know two of the sides. I'm looking for the third. I'm going to think about what happens if I know the medium side and the biggest side. And I'm going to try to find the smallest number that I can put in here that will work. And the smallest whole number that works is 12, right? Because 12 plus 10 is bigger than 21. But that's for only out 11 and a half and 11.2 and 11.1 and 11.01 and all of that. So I'm going to put 11 in here. And if I want a mathematical shortcut, I'm just doing 21 minus 10. 11 is smaller than x. Okay? I can do 11.2, I can do 11.7. I can't do 11 itself, which is why I don't have a less than or equal to. My second scenario that I want to consider is, well, what if I'm missing the biggest side? Now I'm going to think about what's the biggest number, what's the first number that doesn't work there? And the first number that doesn't work is 31, because 10 plus 21 isn't bigger than 31. So x has to be less than 31. It could be 30.9, it could be 30.5, it could be 30.2. So I don't want to put 30 here. I want to put 31 instead. And then I'm going to draw out a triangle, and I'm going to think about, okay, here's my smallest side, and here's my smallest angle. Here's my medium angle and my medium side, and my largest side and my largest angle. And what you hopefully see is that, hey, the smallest is across from the smallest, the largest from the largest. So in any triangle, the angle opposite the longer side is greater than the angle opposite the shorter side. In other words, your big angle is across from the big side, medium across from medium, and small across from small. This is why in an isosceles triangle, when you have two sides that are equal, your angles are also equal. Because if they're both the medium side, they have to be the same. So we're going to practice this. I have 35 degrees here. I have 180 degrees total in a triangle, so minus 90 is 90, minus 35 is 55. I'm going from largest to smallest. My biggest angle is 90. Across from 90 is B. My second biggest angle is 55. Across from that is A. And then my smallest is C. I can do the same thing with my angles. This time I'm going smallest to largest. I'm going to find my smallest side 7. C is across. My medium is 9. B is across, which leaves just A as my largest angle. And then on this triangle, I'm going to look at the biggest triangle first. So just looking with my special eyes, I can tell this purple triangle is bigger than the other. And if I do this correctly, the first three will come from the purple triangle. 
and the second three will come from the yellow triangle. There's only one side that's in both. So E should be the smallest in the purple and the biggest in the yellow. Okay, and if I don't get it that way, I know I messed something up. Looking just at the purple triangle, 85 is across from D, 65 is across from C, and then my smallest angle within that triangle is 30 across from E. Now I'm looking at my second triangle. The biggest angle in there is 80, so I should have E, then I've got B, and lastly, 